Beach is dealing with so many complaints about coyotes that council members there voted unanimously to add a trapper to their coyote fighting arsenal. This despite opposition from California Fish and Wildlife. Christina Gonzalez live in Manhattan Beach with the story. Christina. Yeah, city officials here saying that they will continue the public outreach, the education, but they definitely are assessing trapping companies because they don't want to end up dealing with the same kind of incidents that have been happening in other surrounding beach cities that don't trap. Watch. Home security video. On the bottom of your screen, a cat fleeing from under a car. On the left of that vehicle, a coyote sniffing as he looks for the cat. The video is from this Liberty Village neighborhood where resident Kristen Mueller says this cat is just one of several she has lost to coyotes. For me, the cats have been devastating and horrendous to see what we saw, but I'm worried about children. She was one of several yes. speakers at Manhattan Beach's city council meeting when officials voted to enlist a coyote trapper. To at least, on her own dime, come and do a lot of investigation. You know, boots on the ground, I want him driving around, him or her, or them. This against recommendations from wildlife biologists who say trapping coyotes often results in actually increasing the population in targeted areas. If you remove a significant no number of coyotes from, the, the, from an area, that's an open niche now. And so other coyotes from surrounding areas can come in and fill that niche. And there seem to be plenty of coyotes around. Surveillance videos show a May attack near Huntington Beach Pier, where a coyote injured a two-year-old playing on the sand. And parents are being extra careful at Fountain Valley's Miles Square Park, where another coyote went after a young child in June. But it's attacks on pets, even inside patios like this one in Huntington Beach, that you're seeing a lot more of. But at the Manhattan Beach Liberty Village neighborhood where several pets have been killed, some obviously cat-owning residents say precautions do work. They don't bother us because we keep our cats inside at all times. And that, that is hard to do when you have semi-feral cats, which is what Kirsten has. Now, there are other suggestions. Putting out wolf urine sometimes helps uh, in the property. There's also do away with anything that attracts wildlife, even the bird feeders and the water feeders, because they attract other wildlife and coyotes feed on all that. Uh, with that said, uh, council members here saying they're going to go with the trapping for the most uh, seriously offending animals, and we'll see how it happens. We'll keep you updated. I'm live in Manhattan Beach. Christina Gonzalez back in the studio. As long as we don't talk about more wolf urine. Christina.